Have I ever told you the story about how I found out about Weird Al when I was a kid? I think I should tell you that story. It's a roundabout story, but it's fun. Let's talk about it. Alright, I was in this group called Royal Rangers. It was a Christian Boy Scout group. We did a camp out trip, and I brought my Walkman with me. And my cousin had mixtaped me a bunch of Ray Stevens' music. Uh, the Streak and the, the, church, the Church Squirrel song. all Some classic stuff he was able to tape off an info commercial for the Ray Stevens collection or whatever. So I'd bring that tape with me. And I played it during the whole trip there. The whole car, the bus ride there and the bus ride back. There was a, the oldest kid there was Aaron Bourne. He was kind of popular. And we were in the back seat, and I let him listen to some of the Ray Stevens. The batteries were getting low in my Walkman. And for some reason, when your batteries get low in your Walkman, it gets into a high-pitched voice for the guy. So it's even more funny than it is regularly. It's just hilarious listening to the streak like that. So we're on our way back. I went inside to uh, use the bathroom. And I came back, and my tape was gone. Yeah, I thought it was kind of suspicious. I just couldn't find it anywhere. I checked my bag and everything. I knew I left it in that Walkman, but it was gone. Enter Jason Fuchs. Now, Jason Fuchs was the the leader's son. He was a weaselly character, bumping his nose, ears out, weird eyelids, like a kind of like a pothead eyelids, you know, those crazy eyelids, wavy kinked up hair much wavier than mine even um and this kid had noticed you know the attention i was getting for my ray stevens mixtape for my cousin afton so i know he pocketed he pocketed no one fessed up to it but he pocketed it so a few weeks went by and finally the leader came to me and i said oh we found this among our luggage Gave me the mixtape back. Jason must have accidentally confused it and put it into his luggage. A oh, bullshit. I see right through that, mister. You can't fool me. I just played along because well, I'm nine years old. What am I going to do? Refute it? I really can't. I don't know. Just a grown-ass man versus a nine-year-old. and I conceded. So then the next trip we went whitewater rafting. And it was... It was... Like Jason had taken that tape home and and just studied it. And I see him with like you know pieces of paper, saying hmm, parody music, wacky antics equals popularity, because he was sitting shotgun the whole ride playing Weird Al's Bad Hair Day, which had just come out. So I know he probably just typed in the Google parody artist or you know impressionist some kind of wacky edge that he needed to get over. So on that whole ride to the rafting place, I had to give him his props because the music was awesome. And to this day, Bad Hair Day is my favorite Weird Al album. Great album. Introduced me to Weird Al. I introduced him to Ray Stevens. and He stole that information, studied, came back, checkmated me with a Weird Al, which got him pretty popular. I remember the, the, the other commander at the time thought he was nuts playing that kind of music. You know, it, some of it's hard to follow, like the Dennis song. It's, it seems like weird, I guess, for a lot of adults. But, oh, the album was amazing. And that's how I was introduced to Weird Al. After that, I was like, okay, well, i got to find out about this Weird Al because apparently he's one up better than Ray Stevens, you know. <laughs> so I looked up everything I could about Weird Al. And I, I bought a few of his albums, and I enjoy them to this day. My probably... I want, I, my favorite singles artist, yeah, he's, he's a good act, he is hard to follow, hard to beat, and a lot of his parodies are act, better than the actual songs, so that's pretty awesome, but yeah, that's how I found out about Weird Al, thievery was a part of the story of how I found out about Weird Al, mixtapes, thievery, crooked characters, crooked bins, mystery uh, things going missing oh yeah all that shit went down but it was worth it 
it was all worth it to be able to know of Weird Al and be a fan ever since. Gump sat along on the bench in the park. <laughs> he casually remarked, as primitive as can be. I've been spending all my life living in an Amish paradise. Turn butter once or twice, living in an Amish paradise. A local boy kicked me in the butt last week. I just smiled at him and I turned the other cheek. I really don't care. In fact, I wish him well because I'll laugh in my head off when he's burning in hell. I'll be laughing, man. I just, I just jumped to laughing my head off. <laughs> and it looks like I win again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Stevens mixtape stealing bastards. Yes.